So what exactly is A plus and A minus? They're called promotion and demotion operators. Promotion because if A plus is applied to a state, then it puts that state in the next higher energy level. This is seen as when the A plus operator is applied to psi and then the Hamiltonian is applied, we see that we get back the raised wave function and the energy plus h bar times omega. Similarly, if a minus is applied to the wave function and then the Hamiltonian, we see that we get the energy of the original state minus h bar omega. So these two operators give new solutions with higher and lower energies respectively. The latter analogy comes into play because we typically only go up or down one rung at a time. These operators do the same job. They raise or lower the energy level of the wave function one step at a time. So let's calculate one of these cases explicitly. What we're essentially trying to determine is what does it mean when we apply a minus in this case to psi? And of course this is in the context of what we're doing to the energy because we just finished saying that when we apply the raising and lowering operators we are changing the state and that affects the energy of the state. So here I've got my Hamiltonian times psi and that gives me the energy times psi. And so I'm going to want to find out what does it mean when I apply a minus to my wave function. So I'm going to multiply the left or to the left of both of these um, statements by a minus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explicitly write out the Hamiltonian in terms of a plus and a minus like we just defined in a previous slide. So I've got a minus times h bar omega times a plus a minus plus one half and that's still all multiplied by psi. In this case, since e is a constant, then I can move it to the left and I can move in my a minus. And so in this case, I'm going to start grouping this together as a bracket because what I'm saying is that this term, this a minus, this is now explicitly the lowered state. And that's because I've applied a minus to my wave function psi. So what I'm going to spend the rest of this presentation doing is working on the left hand side to then also move through an a minus so that it is also next to the psi so then, then we can then solve for e explicitly for this lowered state. So I'm going to take my a minus and I'm going to distribute it in. I'm going to get h bar omega and that's going to be multiplied by a minus a plus a minus because I have to maintain order. That's going to be times a minus, or sorry, plus a minus over 2, and I still have my psi. And on my right hand side, I'm still going to get e times a minus times psi. Well, what I can do is I can now take the left, or sorry, the right hand parts of these terms. So here I've got an a minus, and here I've got an a minus, and I can distribute that out to the right hand side h bar omega a minus a plus plus one half and that's going to be times a minus times psi. And so again, now, now I've been able to move my a minus through, I now have a, my reduced state over on the left-hand side of the equation. But right now what we're trying to show is what the energy is equal to. So we need to calculate an explicit um, value for what e is. And so we still have to do some work on the left-hand side over here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to substitute back in for the Hamiltonian for this term, this a plus a minus term. And so I want you to recall that a minus a plus, well that's equal to 1 over h bar omega times h hat plus 1 half. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that term and plug that right in on my left hand side. So what I'm going to get is h bar omega times 1 over h bar omega times the Hamiltonian plus 1 half plus 1 half. And that's still going to be equal to a minus times psi is equal to e times a minus times psi. So now I'm just going to simplify. I'm going to multiply in this h bar omega on the left hand side. Well that just leaves me uh, my Hamiltonian I have 1 half plus 1 half gives me 1, so that's plus h bar omega. That's still going to be equal to my reduced state, my a minus times psi. 
and that's equal to e times my reduced state, a minus times psi. In this case on the left-hand side now what I can do is I can distribute in from the right this a minus times psi. And so what I'm going to get is h hat a minus psi plus h bar omega a minus times psi and that's equal to e times a minus times psi. Finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this term with this h bar omega term times a minus times psi and I'm going to move that to the right hand side. h hat Hamiltonian times a minus times psi well that's equal to e times a minus times psi minus h bar omega a minus times psi and then finally I'm going to distribute out the a minus times psi on the right hand side so h bar or sorry h hat times a minus times psi that's equal to e minus h bar omega times a minus times psi and this was the result that I showed you on the previous slide and again what this tells us is that when I apply my Hamiltonian to my reduced wave function where I've applied the, the D motion operator to my wave function so I'm reducing the state to the lower energy state then what I get back is the energy from the original state before I lowered it minus h bar omega, meaning that I have now gone to a lower energy state, which is defined by this a minus times psi.